Hi everyone, today I'm back with another rock painting video. Hope you enjoy. So first, you need to go for a nature walk, trying to find some ladybug shaped rocks. Oval or circle ones would work. Paint the whole rock red. It might take two to three coats to get the full coverage. Now um, paint the head area using black paint. Now grab a small brush to draw the middle line. This is a simple way to show the two wings of the ladybug. For the fan dots, you can grab a Q-tip. I think for most of the ladybugs, the spots on the wings are symmetrical. So here I am trying to do the symmetrical pattern. The black paint on the head area is dry. It's time to move on to the next step. Now the eyes. Still use the Q-tip to dot a white dot on the black head area of the ladybug. Maybe make the dots like a slightly bigger than the dots on the wings. Yeah, that looks better. When the white dots are dry, remove the cotton from one Q-tip and dip some black paint. That gives you a smaller dots in the middle. Because many ladybugs as you want, they don't have to be red. Now, I think it might be fun to add a few bumblebees. So obviously, you need to paint the rock yellow and then add a few black stripes. Using the same way I did with the ladybugs to draw the eyes on the bumblebee or maybe even a smiling face. Now the wings. I like just to wipe off the excess paint on another rock because I'm gonna cover the rocks with uh, another color paint anyway. It looks cute, I like it. Before putting the painted rocks outside, don't forget to give them a clear coat. Use the spray paint outside and use a mask. Just to give you the full story, why do those ladybugs show up in our front yard? I paint this big rock into a big green leaf. My daughter totally liked that story. Now she's helping the ladybugs and the bumblebees to find the big green leaf to rest on. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'll see you next time.